hyperphosphatemia comes always from the food intake. Broadly speaking, all the diet which is rich in protein and milk products are very rich in phosphorus. A normal person would be taking up to 1000 to 1200 milligram of phosphorus per day and a normal kidney will be excreting all the absorbed 60 percent of this load and so the balance will be neutral. But in CKD as GFR keeps on falling the kidneys are not able to excrete all this phosphorus load and in a stage 4 and beyond the phosphorus level starts rising. So, the most common cause of phosphorus rise would be oral intake of phosphorus from food. But apart from this imagine other sick patients. If patients are on parental nutrition we know that parental nutrition are very rich in phosphorus and if this patient is also immobile this immobility will further aggravate hyperphosphatemia. Even enemas which are very common in dialysis patients or CKD patients because of constipation the phosphate containing enema also give phosphorus load to the patient. Apart from the food intake some of the other factors of CKD patients such as use of heparin in dialysis or acidosis or apart from this muscle injury secondary to maybe so many other factors are also important in causing hyperphosphatemia. In patients who are not of CKD muscle injury, tumor lysis syndrome, hypoparathyroidism are some of the other reasons which are responsible for hyperphosphatemia. 